Welcome back to Stab the Dragon, August 8th, 2022, for episode number 65 and whiskey review number 37. As today, we study Iron Root Republic Esoteric American Whiskey, edition number 22. Here at Stab the Dragon, I do whiskey reviews, cultural commentary, book reviews, Bible studies, and more. Tonight, this is the second in a series of four whiskey reviews for Iron Root Republic products. First of all, just the facts. Iron Root Republic Distillery, founded in Denison, Texas in 2014 by the Licorice family, Robert, Jonathan, and their mother, Marcia. One of their distinctives is that they utilize some skills or processes they learn from the French brandy industry in their distilling. But this is all Texas whiskey, let me tell you. Esoteric is an American whiskey that is a blend of half bourbon and half corn whiskey coming in at 97 proof. The recipe for this name brand of esoteric whiskey changes every year. So this is a special creative release from the distillery. The category of American whiskey means, in this case, that the final product has been blended with bourbon and corn whiskey. And the rules for bourbon and the rules for corn whiskey are different. And so when you mix the two, you end up with this special category called American whiskey. And that may be some part of, of this whiskey, you know, might have been distilled at a different proof than was allowed for bourbon because corn whiskey and, and bourbon have different proofs that you can distill them at. The recipe is a secret, so we just don't know. There's no neutral spirits in here at all. Uh, that, that's just not part of the mix. American whiskey as a category actually includes a lot of good stuff, so I would say don't shy away from it. Tasting notes. I get uh, some sweet and some caramel, corn, not honey, but maybe a hint of molasses. Texas funk, definitely, big time. The barrel char from the heat mixes with this whiskey and it produces that unique Texas flavor. This gives you a powerful punch in the mouth. It's all flavor, no ethanol though. Strong flavor, yes. It's got a nice mouth feel and a whiskey burn that's amazing. Leaves you with the mouth tingles. You got that cinnamon hard candy that lingers. Burns up into my sinuses just a little bit like I personally enjoy. So this will definitely make you wake up and say, howdy Texans. My score for this whiskey is a 90. And my letter grade is an A+. My recommendation. Now th this is a little bit uh, of a different kind of a, a recommendation here. This whiskey score is the same total that I gave Harbinger XC uh, 90 proof just last week. And I, but I give this whiskey an A plus and the Harbinger just an A. And I, I think because the esoteric is, uh, well, at a higher proof, you know, it's 98 proof instead of the 90 for the Harbinger, you get more of the flavor, more of the mouthfeel. Uh, and both of those scores finished higher this week than uh, for the Harbinger last week. So, bottom line is, is I, I like it better, and a lot of that is the proof. And I, I like the name of this whiskey, Esoteric. It's kind of a different name. So, it, it, as long as you're not snobbish towards American whiskeys or blended whiskeys, uh, and you're a bit daring in your whiskey drinking, then I think this Esoteric is for you. It's a great introduction to Texas whiskeys. Coming in below 100 proof, I think uh, that this is still... Uh, reachable for those of you who may be a little proof scared at times. So that's my recommendation. Let's get into the details now. Uh, the history of this whiskey. I covered some last week but I'll go back over it now. Located in Denison, Texas which is you know about uh, 50 miles or so north of Dallas but it's south of Oklahoma on Highway 75. This was uh, a distillery that's named for the grape roots that T.V. Munson, 1843 to 1913, a citizen of Denison, he developed these grape roots that helped France recover from several years of loss of uh, millions of acres of grapes to disease and pests. Munson was the grape expert in America and had developed some hardier strains of grapes that could handle the tough Texas climate and that were resistant to pests and disease. So he single-handedly saved the grape industry in Europe, particularly France, 
And because of this, um, particularly for the Cognac region, which is like a sister city to Denison, the French sent some emissaries all the way to Texas and presented Munson with uh, the French Legion of Honor. University of Kentucky had given him uh, his master's degree, and, and after all this stuff with the French wine industry, he got an honorary doctorate. 2011, Robert Licorice was about to graduate from St. Louis University Law School, but announced to his family that he did not really want to be a lawyer. He wanted to be a whiskey distiller. His brother Jonathan was a biomedical engineer and joined up with him, along with mom, Marcia, a retired teacher. After traveling throughout the country, examining distilleries, uh, obtaining an intern position at Balcones in Waco, Texas, uh, the Licorice family chose to place themselves in Denison, Texas because it was one of the few wet counties in the area that would allow the sale of alcohol. And then the Iron Root Republic Distillery was born in 2014. Now this distillery began winning awards left and right, uh, including the 2020 World Whiskey Awards where Harbinger 115 the big brother of the Harbinger XC I reviewed last week, it won the award for best bourbon in the world. It was the first non-Kentucky bourbon to win that coveted prize. In 2021, Iron Root won the best distillery of the year by the American Distilling Institute. So these awards really are amazing, and there's several other, uh, a long list of awards for this distillery and, and their amazing whiskeys, but Esoteric, is not going to be one of those uh, that, that's got any prizes. I could find no source that said uh, they'd won any prizes because it's a different thing every year. Uh, although, you know, as an American whiskey, I, I would think it should win something. And that that's the category, uh, American whiskey. So as part of the name, Iron Root Republic, that Republic part comes from Texas history. Because when Texas seceded from Mexico, they became a republic from 1836 to 1845. So yes, we are the only state in the U.S. of A. that once was an independent nation. So five points for history. Marketing, packaging, and bottle. The bottle is that same tall, tapered, western style that uh, all four of my Iron Root bottles are. I have yet to see the bottle featured on the website in the wild. I've not seen any billboards or commercials for this whiskey, and this whiskey, the Esoteric here, uh, I've just not seen any reviews. Perhaps this is because it's an annual release that's experimental, slightly different every year. In short, this is one of those weird minor releases that distilleries frequently do. Kind of an artistic thing, really, and I love that. I think that's just cool. Some breweries do this, too. I know like uh, Rar Brewery here in Fort Worth. Uh, does some experimental things once in a while. Uh, still, I'd like to see some kind of a marketing plan that emphasizes this, because I think this is just a cool concept and a, a very cool bottle, a very, very fine American whiskey. I like this bottle somewhat better than uh, the Harbinger XC that we did last week. I, th I think it, it, the dark part of the label here uh, lends itself to me enjoying it. You know, on the back, it's got the typical hoo-ha stuff. It says, edition 22, uh, months aged 40. So, that, you know, this has got some age to it. We are a family-owned whiskey distillery that employs, employs French brandy techniques using local and heirloom corns to create distinctive whiskeys from scratch. Our philosophy is heavily influenced by the history of our town where T.V. Munson famously saved the French wine industry from phylloxera using Texas iron grape roots, forever linking cognac and denison. Cheers and enjoy. There you go. So uh, I still would like to see some kind of a better marketing plan for this. So only four of five for marketing, bottle, and packaging. Composition. The website says this 97 proof American whiskey is comprised of half bourbon and half corn. And the age statement on the bottle said age 40 months. So that's oh well over three years. So that's kind of interesting. But this bottle, edition number 22, is good for this year, but next year is going to be something different. So again, it's an experimental uh, thing. So there's, there's no... Uh, mash bill for this. It, it's different every year. Uh, Iron Root 
does use heirloom grains from Texas, Oklahoma, non-GMO, and distilled and aged in Texas. Composition, 13 of 15 points because of the integrity of iron root here. Physical appearance. <clears throat> this is a pretty dark, red-tinged whiskey. So I, I'm going to say, you know, this, this is right in my spectrum of perfection here. Uh, physical appearance, 5 of 5. There are some whiskeys that we'll get to uh, that are darker than this. I think maybe Tawakero might have been uh, darker. I'm not sure, but this is pretty dark, and I love the reddish tint to it. Uh, you know, they use that purple corn and, and red corn in their whiskeys, so that really shows up in, in the bottle. Sometimes a finished whiskey, uh, if, if you finish whiskeys in a sherry cask or something, it, it may get dark like that, but this is not finished. This is just the natural Texas corn going on here. So five of five for physical appearance. Nosing with my very inadequate nose. Only a vague, faint smell of corn, sweetness, Texas funk a little bit. My nose is just inadequate for the task. I'm going to say it's a pleasant nose, but faint. 7 of 10. Now for the all-important tasting, the palate. Right away, this has more bold flavor than the Harbinger XC at 90 proof that I reviewed last week. Proof does bring out more flavor sometimes, usually. Sweet caramel corn, the Texas funk for sure. This gives you a powerful punch in the mouth, but it's all flavor. There's no ethanol. This is a strong flavor. I mean, it's a strong, uh, and there, there's kind of a burst of, of heat there. A little bit of a burn up into the sinuses that I like. Some people like smooth, real smooth whiskeys, and, and I do too. Smooth is great, but I like something that lets me know it's it's whiskey. It's here, and so this is not an offensive burn from ethanol. This is this is a very good whiskey burn, just like I like. This will wake you up and say howdy, Texas, for sure. So, you know, I'm sure there's some fruit, fruitiness back there. More like cinnamon candy. Definitely, you know, kind of a hard candy. Maybe those uh, red hots or hot tamales. You know, the little package of hot tamale candies. Something like that is kind of what I'm getting here. 24 out of 25 points on the palate. Mouthfeel and finish. I'm going to say it's got a decent mouthfeel. Certainly not light, certainly not thin. It's hard to say creamy though. I associate a creamy mouthfeel with something that's gentle, like an Irish whiskey. Um, because here the flavor is so bold and you and you get that proof punch a little bit that it, it takes away from the creaminess, but it, it's certainly not a light or even a medium mouthfeel. It's it's just a bold mouthfeel. Um, makes you makes your mouth tingle quite a bit uh, it's it's rich I'll, I'll say that instead of creamy I'm gonna say rich and I really like the burn that this gives that cinnamon red hot candy nature here it's refreshing really Leave, leaves my mouth and sinuses tingly and, and realizing man I just tasted Texas in the summertime here so there's not much in the way of subtle about this whiskey uh, now, now, you could say a little bit of a Kentucky hug, but I'm going to call it a Texas hug, just a little bit. Uh, I've, I've definitely had whiskeys that gave you more of that. This is more, yeah, it's definitely more in the mouth and sciences a little bit. But there's nothing, this is not so strong as to be offensive. Don't, don't even interpret it that way. So I'm going to give it a 14 of 15 for the mouthfeel and finish. 
price, value, and availability. Total wine, this goes for $36.99. Goody Goody has it listed for $40.99, but unavailable, and frankly, I've never seen it at Goody Goody. Specs, it's not listed. I'm trying to remember where I bought this. It must have been uh, Total Wine. So uh, I've, I've seen some Iron Root products at Specs, but their website doesn't list it because their website's almost useless. For me, for $36.99, this is a great bargain for a craft whiskey. Okay? I, I, now, I know some people are snobbish and say, oh, it's an American whiskey as a category. I'm not going to drink that. I'm just a bourbon guy. But this is seriously good whiskey for the price. Now, granted, availability is a problem, even here in Fort Worth. I mean, I am like 75, 80 miles from Denison, okay? And uh, it's a problem. I, I can't find their whiskeys. Anytime that I, I've probably passed up on Iron Root maybe twice in the last several years. Uh, usually if I see a bottle of Iron Root that's actually in the store, I buy it. But uh, not not always, but you know, so I, I've passed up a couple times, but frankly, most of the time I can't find it. So if you can find it and it's a decent price, man, I mean, $36.99 for Esoteric, yeah. Eight out of 10 for price, value, and availability. Because it didn't get a 10 points, that, that's the availability issue. You know, this is just in so much demand and, and you just can't find it. Now, the next category, neat or mixer. I definitely like this neat. This this is an amazing whiskey drinking neat. I mean, th this is perfection right here. But I can see you putting it in ice. Uh, you know, this is 97 proof and a lot of people, you know, want to want to put their whiskeys in ice. And this one, I think, would hold up well to the ice, and I think it would hold up fantastic in a cocktail. Man, I I would love to have this in some kind of a cocktail. This this would be outstanding because the flavor is so strong. So five out of five for the neater mixer. Bonus points, five points because, you know, Texas. So my total score is a 90, letter grade A+. Plus. And again, I'm going to you know compare this with the Harbinger XC that I did last week. Uh, I think the proof really brings out enough flavor here to where I, I liked it a little bit more than the Harbinger XC. Okay, and so that's why I, I scored this letter grade as an A plus and the Harbinger only an A. Right? They both scored a 90 because of some technical things on my grading system. But also, I, I love the name. I mean, Esoteric. And Harbinger, you know, the, the names for, for these Texas uh, whiskeys here by Iron Root are, are just amazing. So I really like the name Esoteric it, because it, you know, it adds weirdness to it, right? It combines the experimental and the blended nature of the thing. And that automatically draws me into it. Now, if you're uh, not snobbish toward trying American whiskeys as a category or blended whiskeys, however you want to call it, if you're a bit daring in your whiskey drinking, then this esoteric is going to be for you. Especially if you want to sample something uh, that's got the Texas funk to it. Uh, man, for $37.99, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, you know, now people are, if people are snobbish and say, I only drink bourbon, well, then maybe this isn't going to be for you. Uh, and you'll just miss out. But again, the, the price point on this is, is amazing. So, uh, I would say this whiskey gives you a great howdy from Texas. But caution, once you go down this esoteric path, you might not ever go back. Well, my conclusion, that does it for episode number 65 of Stab the Dragon. Next week, I think we'll look at the Iron Root Promethean Straight Bourbon coming in at 100 proof. Drink safely, be responsible, in this Texas heat, be sure to hydrate with some good water. In hoax signo winkies, this is Stab the Dragon out here.